Hello. My name is Jenny, and I'm going to talk about a new book by Decimus Bug Laden. Welcome once more to this seventh video on his new channel. And thank you for wanting to learn who the real bard was. I am sure you will not be disappointed. In the previous video, we looked at links between individuals in Shocklatch in Cheshire and Shobrook in Devon. We are now going to look at another instance of impossible thumbs, hidden ewers, and the faked execution of a ewer. You might remember John Dodd's thumb sticking out like a sore thumb. Let us now look at a self-portrait by Albrecht Dürer. This is his stunning self-portrait. You should however notice that his right thumb is in a very strange position. You might like to pause this video to try to adopt the same position. You should find it impossible. Albrecht Dürer was a very accomplished artist and this must have been painted deliberately to draw attention to it. Dürer was an engraver, too, and somebody also noticed something strange about one of his engravings. He had noticed a small hidden jug or ewer watermark in the engraving of Dürer's friend Willibald Perkheimer. So, once more we have something sticking out like a sore thumb, just as we saw with John Dodd. Ewers also seem to reappear. Bug Laden has found many ewer watermarks in what he believes are manuscripts created by aliases of the bard. Many of these watermarks were not known about before Bug Laden began researching. Many libraries had not even looked. Similarly, Bug Laden believes he has discovered ewers hidden in some paintings he thinks were painted by the bard's aliases. Naturally, these are harder to see otherwise they would have been discovered much earlier. The images are often pointed at by some elements in the painting. This might be a shoe, a sword, a finger, or a thumb. Notice that we have once more returned to the theme of Brooks in the name of this sitter, Henry Brook, 11th Baron Cobham. Now we are going to look at Robert Devereux, the alleged favorite of Queen Elizabeth I. You might think that his left-hand thumb position is strange too, but let's move on. He was executed for his Essex Rebellion. Or, maybe not? Bug Laden thinks that he lived on as his supposed son Robert Devereux, the third Earl of Essex, and you. You see, the third Earl of Essex, and you, allegedly died the same year as Sir Renulf Crewe, of Crewe Hall, near Nantwich. Not only that, but the funeral arrangements for the third earl were extravagant and a pamphlet was published about it in 1646. Of course, all these correlations could be pure fluke. That is, if there were not many more such correlations identified in the book. There is much more evidence leading to Shakespeare's true identity in the book available on Shopify. Thank you for watching, please look out for the next video in this sequence.